What is going on guys? It's Jaren Outdoors here coming at you with another video and sorry for not uploading last week I was sick all week, so I couldn't get the upload um, But today it's gonna be a little different video So today I'm gonna be talking about the story about my personal best bass So to begin it was just an average day of fishing uh, the, over this summer I was fishing using this rod my main rod um, had we were actually going for catfish so we weren't uh, my friend and I we weren't trying to go for any bass like we had a bass rod just while we we're waiting for a catfish but we we're just fishing for catfish for fun and we got a we so we got a fish on this rod and we always say you gotta fish your own rod so I grab it I set the hook and I start reeling in I'm like oh it's just another catfish um, so I reeled it in a little bit closer to the dock that we are fishing off of. We still couldn't tell. And the fish ended up swimming underneath the dock. So we're like, oh, whatever. It's just a catfish. We don't. It doesn't matter if we lose it and because it, it got snagged. Like, we were fishing with just a weight and, a, and some chicken liver and a hook. So the weight got stuck on the dock. And the weight was up top. So it was, like, really weird what's going to happen. Well, I'm going to tell you guys about it. So, we're fishing, just got a couple, um, trying to get this fish un unstuck from the dock, and just having a really difficult time getting the fish from underneath the dock. So, while, as we're trying to get this fish from underneath the dock, um, we got, it. we got, we just tried pulling, like, how you usually get another, a snag off, and it just magically just popped off. So we're reeling it in, and we're like, oh, the fish is still on, so maybe just, like, as I'm going back through this video, and this part of the video, I just want to, like, show you, uh, talk to you guys about how crazy this actually was, that the weight was stuck, and it just broke off, and it was, it's, like, it, it's, like, unheard of that, for some reason, this fish just happened to break off, or, like, the weight broke off, but the rest of the line didn't, like, the weight was tied to the line, and it's, like, it's crazy to us, but if you guys weren't actually there, it's kind of hard to believe. But that's how it happened. It's just crazy. So, uh, back to the video. Got untangled itself. So, we're reeling it in. And in the water, we saw, we, when we noticed it was a bass, we, like, went crazy. And it was pretty funny seeing us, like, flip out like that. The bass was huge, and I've never seen one that big. And... It was, my friend's like, oh, you got it. that's like one you gotta get mounted. I'm like, we still gotta net this thing. So, we're freaking out, trying to get the net, and we couldn't get in the net for a while. But finally, we got in the net, and the fish was, my scale was broken, so it started off at the 40. And we measured it, and the final weight was 48 pounds. And so, we said that it was around 8 pounds, and... Let me open up a picture, but this place over the summer, I'm definitely going to be fishing there and showing you guys the spot that we caught the fish, and it's probably one of the the place that I'm fishing is called the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, and it is definitely the best place for bass fishing in Colorado. So if you live in Colorado and you want to get into big bass, this is the place to go. So this is the bass. And obviously, it was huge. It's a humongous bass. And it was probably the best experience of my life, having the opportunity just to catch a fish that big. Because I've, I've caught, like, 40-inch pike before. And I've had giant fish on and broken off, like catfish and things, but I've never had a bass that big. And... So, over, the reason why I got this story back in my head is over the past weekend in Colorado, there was something called the, uh, like, Hunter's Expo, or like the Sportsman Expo. So, I was walking around, like, because my, uh, my uncle's a hunting guy, so we went and saw him, and walking around, I saw Terry Winstrom, and I met him, and we had a really good conversation, I showed him the picture of my bass, and he's like, and so I'm going to tell you the story that he told me. So he said that while he was at the arsenal, he's fishing with some of the lure or the soft plastics that he gave me, and he was spot fishing. And he said that he saw two bass, and he was so uh, and he's like trying to get the bigger bass because there's off, off, like there's two sizes of the bass. So he's trying to get the bigger bass, and he told me that he caught the smaller bass, 
and he weighed it, and the smaller bass was eight pounds. And so that's just kind of the place and the uh, style that this um, that the Rocky Mountain Arsenal has, and you can catch some giant fish. It's kind of it's somewhat pressured, but um, if you throw something that they're not used to, they'll bite it and eat like all the time. And this is the this is the bait that Terry Winstrom gave me, and he said that he was using. And it's a Havoc uh, Craw Fatty Junior. So most of the bass uh, at the arsenal like smaller presentations. You can throw this on the back of a jig because uh, I really like jig fishing. But anyway, that's just the story of me meeting Terry Winstrom and me catching my personal best bass, which is eight pounds. And hopefully this summer I can catch that bass again so my personal best uh, would be a little bit bigger. Um, this time I want to try catching the bass topwater because I think uh, that would be a really fun experience. Um, so a, a couple other updates. So the boat I was going to get for um it didn't end up happening and they the company sent us a ton of gift cards instead so i'm so thinking if i should get that colorado xt or if i should end up getting the the um like just a regular john boat and get a trolling motor for it so i was thinking like if i do get a john boat it would uh help out a little bit um just like with me being able to fish some different waters but I was just thinking that if I like that would also be helpful if I wanted to fish with a friend and it'd be easier to record. But some John bones aren't the best like um, stability, so I didn't I was a little bit afraid of flipping the bow and ruining everything. And I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna either get a John boat or the Colorado XT. I want the Colorado XT, but all my uh, people that that I've been talking to have been telling me to get a John boat. So in the comments down below, if you want to like see me fishing with multiple people, or if you just want to see me fishing with like my like by myself, then show me that because I'll definitely take uh, some other considerations. Another update. Um, so currently it's still winter, so I can't go out fishing. Um, I might buy a GoPro, but I think the boat's more important for me right now. And uh, my school lets us rent GoPros, so I might just do that during the spring. Um, the water's st still frozen, obviously, and I don't really ice fish that much. I don't even own an ice fishing pole. Um, so it's hard for me to fish right now, even though that's what I, I this channel is. Another thing is, if you guys want me to, uh, I can post some different type of content. Um, one of my friends uh, said that I should start posting Call of Duty videos and have like every other week have fishing videos and Call of Duty videos. So if you want to see that, please click that thumbs up. In the first video that of Call of Duty, if I do post it, it would probably be a recruitment challenge. Um, if you want to see that, definitely click that thumbs up and comment that down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that thumbs up and have a great day.